My name is John Ramsey. I was born June 12th, 1962. Mm. as a janitor for five years now. I don't even know if anyone in the world knows I'm out there some days is how it feels. How's it going? Yeah. Well, what do we have today? I don't know why it's come to this. This nine to five, going nowhere in a hurry grind. Every day seems exactly the same. Move this, clean that, go here, go there. My sense of time is lost.
John. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Do you know that we've been looking for you for the past hour? You do work here, don't you? Yes, ma'am. I, I was just... I don't want to hear it. You have to wonder, do you choose your own life, or does it choose you? Okay? Well, what happened? He got hit by a Hey, stay back, stay back. Give him room. Oh, he's so slow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Somebody call an ambulance. Can't call an ambulance on a dog. Somebody help him. Perfect. This is going to be perfect.
I haven't reached for my journal. I don't remember the last time. I had that impulse. I remember seeing the fear in that man's face. It was like chaos. I mean, that means he was robbing the store. He was threatening. He was so angry. He was ready to kill someone. Water is my element where I can go and, and come back to myself, feeling that cleansing, that purity. Big mop.
Time to go, sweetheart. Like running you around in circles? I'm not sure running in circles is any better than being trapped. You're funny.
You're gonna open this bank for me. The vault. Uh, uh, I can't get in the vault. Why not? No one has the key for Mr. Paulson. Where is Mr. Paulson? He went home. You lying little shit. I know you still give money. I know you money. ain't stupid enough to lie to a man with a 357 this ain't the against plan. your head. Sometimes you better open this change. vault. Now! My ass! In and out! You said in and out! I can't! I swear to God I can't! Get him up. All right, everybody! I want to be in that vault in one minute. Listen up! I got two moves! Crazy! And I'm Right now, I'm not sure which one to say. So I'm going to All that anger, all that determination, what was his name? This is ridiculous. This isn't my job description. Man, you know nobody checks on that. I mean, what would you rather be doing? Mopping down the crapper or sitting on some asshole's sofa drinking his beer? <laughs> into the breakfast veranda. Mmm, the sofa I got in Morocco. I don't know what I was thinking even going into that wretched place. The televisions are upstairs. The baby grand won't be here for another week. Be sure to take your shoes off when you go upstairs and remember to put them back on when you come downstairs. Hmm? You guys are doing a great job. Hmm? Go out to the truck and grab the dolly. Sorry, my fault. No, I'm sorry. Michelle, honey, you need to get back to your exercises. And have your room unpacked and put away by tonight. Your father has colleagues coming, remember? Well. Admiring the view. My partner's getting something from the truck. Well, maybe you should help him. I thought you told us not to go outside. What's going on, John?
So, you unpack the bathroom. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got it. Good. Sometimes I hate those damn birds. Pursuit of happiness. Free of consequences. When it gets rough, just fly away. Keep flying, birds. Keep flying. Come on, brother, we gotta get the hell out of here now. There is no way we're getting into this vault. This is crazy, let's go! I don't have any of your move in Come on, brother. Come on, we gotta go! No! 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 Get your ass out of here now! He's taking control over everything. You got a gun! You got a gun! Just one of the right of the Used to have this friend that did that surfboarding. One day he was out in that damn ocean, and one of them great whites came and bit his ass clean off. Half anyway. Man, I never seen a one-ass man swim so damn fast in my life. Of course I wasn't there. You know, my uncle Eugene was born with half an ass. Yeah, you know. Someday I think I'd like to move out of this rinky-dink town. I mean, people in small towns just eventually go... crazy. Like it's some kind of... job requirement. And it was just the most bizarre thing. And that was really weird because he was always leaning over like, you know? Just like really uncomfortably close. Turned out he had only one ass cheek. Can you believe it? My uncle was born with half an ass. You ever heard the sound of one, one side farting? <laughs> oh, God. It was like a...
I took a psychology class, but they talked about dreams. I needed answers. I had nothing but questions right now. None of them talked about entering somebody else's life. How'd you get in here? Uh, my dad's professor here. He's not too good with his keys. Besides, I can't sleep until I've practiced enough. Practice a lot? I don't sleep every night. Aren't you the mover? Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, I'm a janitor. I was just helping with your mother. I'm uh, going to get back to my workout. You really push yourself, kiddo. Swim hard, got a great stroke. You're fast, too. Not fast enough, so says my mother. I think you're being a little hard on yourself. Mom says I could be better. Sometimes I think that's all she ever says. I, I was on the water polo team when I was in college. My dad was a good friend of the coach, and apparently he owed him a favor, which is how I got on the team in the first place. He got so mad when I decided to quit, he wouldn't give me any more money for school. So I had to drop out. What did you want to do? I wanted to be a surfer with a minor in creative writing. Um, 
It's almost 12. I gotta go. I have an exam tomorrow. Okay. Be safe. Nice to meet you, John. Yeah. I know you work hard, John. I really do, but one more tardy and I'm required to file for a wage decrease. You know, John, you and I basically have the same job. I'm only following protocol because of my position. You see? Yes, I see. I just like to be on the same page with everyone under me. I didn't want to let go of the woman you replaced. She was just too old. It's that whole bureaucratic mess, you know? I'll uh, keep that in mind. transferred here because you all like to play Houdini, escaping from some of our finest institutions. Twelve escapes have been attempted here in the last 22 years. Some fatal, all unsuccessful. Carefully screen every book, magazine, letter that comes to you. And this is contraband. Now, I'd be a cruel man if I cut you off from everything that you loved. The letters are okay. Photographs are not. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page. 
Ouch. John, right? Hey. Need a ride? Thanks. That's a long walk you got. Yeah. Uh, my car broke down. You mean that old Volvo back there? That's the one. 1967, great year. How's the swim team going? In the last five meets, I've only placed first once. That's, that's not so bad. I didn't even place in the last meet. <laughs> Ouch. I had this thought come to me right before I dove into the water. What if I never won again? I mean, for the rest of my life. It's just one less name to put on some old plaque. Yeah, some old plaque. Things don't sound too good. I think where you are in life is where you stay. No matter what you do sometimes. Have you ever wanted to do something so much, but just never did? Nothing a drive to the beach didn't solve. Here, I've got something for you.
little good luck charm. Life? Did he have some spiritual connection? Did he die that day? Did he die the day I was born? I don't know what happened. God, he, God, he looks like me. Look at him. Is he a ghost? He seems to be. If he dies, will I die? Swimmers, take your mark. What's your excuse this time? Hey, great swim, Michelle. That was a personal best. It's a 
way past time. I gotta get out of this mess. No man's lot is permanent. There is one thing. What? Death. I was gonna say the tides. The tides? Like clockwork. Every day, tides come in. More importantly, every day the tides roll out. What you got there? Here. Look at this. I think we need to talk more, Anglin. You got a plan? Who does? Well, it just got a whole lot better. One moment. Uh, John, it's your brother. Tom? Yeah, that, that, that sounds great. Anyway, uh, if you can afford a bus ticket, you know, I'm sure... Uh, it's terrible. That poor girl. She had so much potential, I could just imagine what her family must be going through. John, you okay? Let's go! 
Hey, mister. Mister. You spare a little of this change. I mean, uh, all I need is a quarter. Money makes the world go round, or so they say, so how about making a little of it go round here in my pocket? <laughs> At least let me have the rest of that beer you've been drinking. I mean, all I need is a quarter. <laughs> they say. You can't tell me you're so broke you can't afford a little loose change. Believe me. <laughs> Maybe there's some parents that really know how to how to treat a child. I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. I mean, we look like that sometimes. I'm sure people looked at our family and thought, oh, aren't they nice? Look how sweet that is. How wonderful. here. You know what's going on here? You're older than I am. You've been here forever, it seems like. What secrets do you know? to do something so much but just never did don't become what you hate John do it find your dream go John
world out there. Damn, it looks good. It's just a feel of air in your hair, you're walking wherever you want to go. That's where I'm going back to. And it's going to be different this time. Back with all the anger and all the, all the separation. Like a little child running through, through the hills of Arkansas. It'll work, John. Trust me. Remember that time when we was kids? We was up that old barn at the Dawson place. You start messing around, wanting to find their golden horseshoes to steal. I remember you told me not to. Well, I did get us out of there, didn't I? I never did see you so scared in your whole life. Yeah, you told me. This'll be just like that, though. We're just gonna float right off of this rock. Sounds too easy. I know it does. But Frank has this whole thing figured out. It's straight. Here. Yeah. is always in the good book, brother. Our love will soon be together. Forever. I can't wait to hold you again. Not have to let go. It's gonna be a lot different this time. Remember how easy it was just to get up each day. I want like that feeling again. I'm gonna share it with you. Life's gonna be good for us. Bet told me the worst thing a man can do is believe what he thinks and not think about what he believes.
whiskey, please? Take your time. You know, drinking is a form of time travel. I always feel ten years younger after a stiff whiskey. Of course, I feel ten years older the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. Name's Traver. What's your name, if you don't mind me asking? John. John. Mm -hmm. Well, John, I've been sitting here drinking by myself all night long. Mm. Can I buy you a drink? You want another? Of course you do. We all do. <coughs> Special this on the house. <laughs> you know, Einstein didn't entirely rule out the possibility of time travel. No. They only claimed you couldn't travel back. Well. Think about this, my lad. What if the only time travel possible is, is going into the future? Doesn't that mean that all time is a, a consequence of previous futures catching up to you? Your past is your present. We're all traveling through time right now. This morning. This morning I was taking my barn and walk. When BAM! This car slammed on its brakes just up the road. I thought he must have hit something. But he drove off pretty quick. And I, I walked over to where the car had stopped. And all of a sudden, I remembered. Joey Owens, boy, was hit by a car in that exact same spot 20 years ago. What if... The moment that boy died is still going on, rippling through time, up until this morning, when that poor soul driving that car picked up on it. For just a moment, perhaps. John, do you believe in ghosts? Neither do I. <laughs> but I do believe <laughs> it's going to be a rough night with the missus. Yeah. Your road is long, but your days are numbered. <laughs> we'll see you, John. Night, John. Oh. Good luck to you. Handy reference, doesn't it? The natural rock, the first your thumb would be the natural rock because it's the most important. Without it, you couldn't have the rest of the uh, levels. Now, Alcatraz is gifted with great feature by nature, and that is that it's a good place to be in an earthquake. It's about the only thing it has offered. From
just get us to Angel Island. <laughs> I will. I will. John, we gotta move now. You coming or not? Well, what's it gonna be? Come on, John. What the hell are you talking about? Not going. I thought we was getting out of here. Together. What, you going back in there? No. I know the plans. What plan? Hope some seagull flies you across? Would be nice. I was thinking something all along the lines of swimming. Swimming? One too many times in the hole, man. We talked about swimming. It won't work, you'll fucking drown. You can't swim, John. What about the raft? See that there? That's where I'm going. We've been through this, John. This is the only way off this rock. Come on, John. Would it kill you just once in my 34 years? To stick with your brother? To stick with the plan, John? Come with me. I'm with Frank on this one. You know I can't swim. Yeah. Yeah, I know. All right. Let's go.
Thank you. Thank you, John Anglin. Thank you, Michelle. to meet you again, Joy. I'm sure I'll see you around. Yeah.
I got this typewriter at, at a flea market. Not a word processor, but just a nice typewriter, pretty good action on the keys. Felt like I was back in college again. Every question 